Hey there, Sam from Bond Place Brewing here with your craft beer and brewing tip of the week. So in order to make sure that your mash has, uh, we'll use the word taken, in other words that your mash was effective and that your grains, your, your malt, uh, your grist mashed and converted, we're going to use a, uh, a tincture of iodine. So you just simply get uh, white porcelain works great, some sort of lightly colored uh, ceramic or porcelain or glass. Uh, of course, this is just a, uh, a coffee plate from our tap room uh, and a tincture of iodine. We bought this at a local drugstore. Um, a little bit more difficult to find these days. Maybe your local homebrew shop would have it. Uh, perhaps uh, you can find it on, online or something. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to take some of our first runnings here, or rather of a, our pre-Vorloff, our uh, mash liquid, and we're going to simply add iodine to it. So I'm adding four drops of iodine here. And what you want to see is exactly what happened. The, uh, the iodine didn't become a deep India black. It actually remained the sort of rust color brown that it is uh, in nature. So what happens is, is if your starches have not converted, if these uh, proteins and starches and enzymes didn't do what you wanted them to do, that would actually turn black, uh, indicating that there's still uh, digestion to occur. What has happened is, is by putting the iodine in there, indicating to me that we have had a successful mash. To learn more about what we do here at Bond Place Brewing and brewing in the English tradition, check out the link below.